Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today we're going to talk about CVI and WebRTC. What are the differences? Well, this is one of the questions I get asked a lot and I decided just to do a quick video not only talking about it, but actually just demonstrating and actually showing you the join process and kind of what to, you'll experience uh, uh, you know, from CVI versus WebRTC. And I'm going to do that a couple different ways, but we're going to we're kind of walk through the process. We're going to show you, uh, and of course, if you have any follow-up questions or, or anything I didn't address, just you know, comment below, and we'll get to them as soon as we can. But uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So I am going to uh, go ahead and switch and show you my desktop. Now, you guys have seen me do this before, but I basically have a dual screen system here, and I'm showing you both screens here, left and right. And this is a device that I've actually already joined, uh, or sorry, uh, scheduled for a meeting. And um, just from a, some background, just to let you know, I've got uh, quite a few devices actually already in a Microsoft Teams call, this one that I have scheduled here. So when we join, join in, we're going to see uh, kind of an experience of multiple participants and what you're going to experience whenever you have a dual screen system. So um, let's just go ahead and join in on this one and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So I'm going to hit my join button. I'm going to mute. And one of the things off the bat you're going to notice as this goes in is that um, this is a device that is registered to the cloud and, sorry, let me uh, get the uh, display going here. Uh, this is a device that is registered to the cloud and um, the uh, device just went straight on into the Microsoft Teams meeting. So because I have a lobby bypass or authenticated join method with this device, you'll notice I didn't have to wait for someone to let me in. So that's one of the first advantages to the CVI solution is that you have the capability for devices that are on your org uh, or registered um, on premises uh, to your expressway. Uh, or your call manager um, that are authenticated uh, to be allowed to be uh, admitted straight into the meetings if you so desire. Now, the other thing to note here is that in this meeting I've got here, um, you'll notice that this is the active speaker. So this is the main uh, device that, that you have in here, the, or whoever is the active speaker at the time. This is determined by Microsoft, not by us. Um, and in this particular instance, it's my uh, WebEx Edge board which is uh, looking at a, a unique setup here of my pseudo panorama with a couple uh, uh, video cameras on top of it there. So ignore that, this is not a, a common system. And I also have a couple other systems in here. So I have a board in here. I also have up here in the uh, upper left hand of the secondary screen, Another thing to notice here is that you know, we're using our secondary screen. So this is something that I really want to point out because this is unique to the Cisco CVI solution is that when you have a dual screen system, you're going to be able to leverage both screens um, to be able to have your presenters. So you'll notice here that we've got three additional participants here. This will be the fourth and of course I will be in there as the fifth. So this is five participants in this call. You're going to start to see a grid view layout up to nine participants um, total but uh, they're going to show up on this secondary screen. So you'll be able to see a lot more participants um, and be able to utilize both screens for video. But up here on the secondary screen, you'll see in the upper left hand corner, this is a, a nice view outside. This is actually an iPad Microsoft Teams client. So again, showing a different style client. This Avenger cast is a on-premise registered uh, video endpoint. And then uh, this one down here, this is Thanos. This is actually the Microsoft Teams Windows client. So this is, um, again, just using a USB webcam. So I'm showing you different types of clients in here, but you're able to see all of those um, in this CVI call. Now, another thing I want to show you here is I'm going to actually share some content because I want to show you what happens to your screens on a dual screen system. So I'm going to share my desktop here from the uh, Microsoft Teams client. So you'll notice here that your content goes to the right screen. Uh, you saw the same thing over here in this view. Uh, I'm actually, uh, this is the active participant, but uh, my system is showing the same thing over here. And then all of your other participants are going to go down here uh, on the bottom in a little film strip view. So this is going to be um, a, a nice way for you to be able to um, utilize both screens because now your content will automatically go to the secondary screen and your single screen will actually show the other layout um, and move all of the other participants over. So this would actually be what you would see in a typical video call of a single screen without content. So let me go ahead and stop this. And what I'm going to do now is, is uh, I'm going to um, go ahead and I'm going to remove this call or this device and I'm going to make a few uh, changes here. So let me go ahead and end this call. Now there's a couple other features that are going to be different uh, with WebRTC versus um, 
you know, a, um, a CVI call. And that includes things such as um, the, the roster list, the uh, meeting participants. We went over some of those things in my other CVI video. This is really gonna be more video showing you the joint experiences and what to expect on the actual systems themselves. Uh, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back in here and re-add um, my device again. Now behind the scenes, I've actually made a change over here to where uh, I'm gonna book this same system again, but what I'm gonna do is actually kind of force this system to join via the WebRTC um, uh, applet instead or uh, web app instead of actually joining via CVI. So the important part of this is so that way I can show you the difference between um, joining via WebRTC, especially on a dual screen system because uh, when you join via WebRTC, one of the limitations you're gonna have is that the, um, the secondary screen is um, not gonna be able to be utilized. So WebRTC has a limitation to a single screen. So I have this meeting that has popped up here now. I'm gonna go ahead and join in and we're gonna do that same experience. So I'm gonna press my join button. Um, so that part's gonna be pretty much the same. But off the bat, one thing you're gonna notice here is that um, only this primary screen here is, you can barely see this, it, but it's starting to load up. Uh, it's the only thing that's loading. And what's happening is, is the browser is actually loading up on the background and launching that WebRTC client. So it takes us a few seconds longer to join in versus um, the uh, regular system. So one of the unique thing here is you'll notice is that I'm actually in the lobby and I'm being asked to, um, uh, to wait until someone lets me in. So what I have to do, and I'm gonna come in here and join. Sorry, I canceled out of the, uh, the other client here, but I'm gonna have to, from my client, admit, and you guys have seen me do this on other videos, I'm gonna have to admit this system into the meeting. So once I hit admit, within just a couple seconds, you're gonna see that I'm gonna be led into the meeting. And again, you'll see here that I have the single screen experience. My secondary screen is not able to be used at all because of the limitations with WebRTC. Now right now, this layout is determined by Microsoft and the Microsoft Teams client, the WebRTC client. So there's no way for me to really adjust or work with this today. We're limited to this uh, two by two view today. You will have your self view down here. But I do wanna go ahead and show you what happens if someone does share content so you can see the difference in the experience. I wanna share that same content again, my desktop. You'll see a film strip view down here at the bottom, including your self view. And of course, here will be the content. So again, the secondary screen not being used in a WebRTC call. The other things that we talked about as far as the participant list and showing the things like the mute, um, that will not be on your touch device, uh, just like it, or like it is in CVI. Uh, however, if I do mute my device from uh, here, it will show muted on the WebRTC client. Um, so that is in sync with the client itself. So see here where I said microphone muted, and then you'll see down here that uh, your speakers are muted. Oh, sorry, wait, that's actually this other one here. Let me uh, stop my share. But it will mute your system, and of course, if I turn off my video, it will actually mute my video uh, on the far end as well. So these are in sync with the, um, there I unmuted, you see my, or my video, you see myself, you come back up, and of course I can unmute my audio and it will splash up and show that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this call. Go back here. So again, real high level quick overview of WebRTC versus CVI. I hope you can see there's a big advantage to CVI uh, for your uh, meeting experiences. A Couple other things to note besides the, the roster list and the, um, um, you know, the active participant list and uh, kind of being able to see remote uh, muted participants. Uh, you've got the dual screen issue where uh, dual screen systems will be able to be used in CVI or even three screen systems. So if you do have a three screen system, including the WebEx panorama, I've done a video on that. So you can kind of see where you'll have uh, the content on the third screen and still be able to see both um, participants in the active view and then the uh, grid view on the right screen. Um, another thing to take note of is that when it comes to sharing, Sharing today uh, via HDMI or a local share uh, wirelessly to a uh, on-prem device is going to be CVI only. So there is no uh, sharing capabilities today from a WebRTC client. So again, high level, I wanted to do just a quick video to show these things. If you have questions, let me know. If there's something that's more specific that you'd like to see a demo of, let us know. But uh, we're really excited about all these features. We're really excited about our devices becoming more versatile to join other platforms. So um, again, thanks for watching and you guys have a great day. Thanks.